Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on Better Shops. So this is a really awesome shop plugin that you can download for free on Spigot. So it has lots of GUIs, you can change the amount, the price, the stock, there's buying, selling, trading and so much more um, that I will cover in this video. So it's really really cool the way you um, change prices and whatnot and create shops. So let's get started. So if you right click the uh, sign you get this GUI pop-up. So what can we do? Well, um, if we look at the gold ingot, which has 64 stock currently, and you can purchase it in 32 for 32 pounds or whatever currency you have. So um, I'll show you how to edit um, an item. You just left click it. And over here, what you can do, you can change the price of the item and an anvil window will pop up. And obviously you can type uh, whatever amount you want. So 64 pounds, for example. Then if we go to the right and the black stained uh, clay, you can remove it from the shop if you didn't want it there anymore. And you can change the amount sold at a particular time. So it's 64 pounds for maybe um, 12 iron, uh, no, gold ingots. And then if we go back, we can see that um, you can buy them in stacks of 12 for 64 pounds. So that's really, really cool. If we move on to the next shop, which is stone, um, you can see that you can buy one for five pounds and there is 64 stock. If we go into uh, selling by right clicking this sign here, you can see that there's cobblestone. Um, and you can obviously sell it for 10 pounds um, per cobble. And that's really, really cool. So if we go on to the third shop, which um, we're going to edit a bit, um, you can see that there's multiple items here. So if you right click, um, this ender chest what we can do we can edit the description of a shop so you can type anything here just a string of words so uh, buy your tools here and then hit the uh, paper and that will change it you can obviously left click it to open the shop so people can actually use it which is useful you can change the owner um, obviously I want to be the owner still so I'm not going to change that and uh, you can change the name of the shop if you wanted to so uh, the tool shop we could change it to and then click that and it will be changed uh, so that's really cool and uh, if we go into it again we can have a look at these three options so you can set it to send you notifications when someone buys or sells something from your shop uh, depending on how many shops you have and how busy they are you might want to turn that off because it might just spam your chat um, you can change it to an NPC shop um, by selecting any of these creatures so that's quite interesting um, but I'd leave it as, as a chest because I'd prefer that and down here you can change the color scheme uh, which is a really nice feature really cool so you can customize it depending on what you're selling so if, a, if you had a diamond shop you could set it to blue for example which is really really cool but let's go ahead and make our own shop so just pop a chest down shift right click with um, a sign and then do square bracket shop square bracket on the top line. Now this uh, anvil window will pop up and obviously you name the shop here. You can obviously rename it as I showed you. So um, tutorial is what it's going to be called. And then this message will pop up shop created and it is closed currently. So what we're going to do is grab say some wood and um, what else maybe some logs. So this can be a wood shop. So um, you can also add shopkeepers in a similar way, but nobody else is online. Uh, if you had a friend you wanted to have the shop with. So to add an item, you left click it and that will add a stock of one. Now if you want to add more stock, you just left click again and uh, that will send all of it there. So let's add a bit more stock. So if we right click the shop again and then left click some more wood, that will add it to the, uh, the stock. So we have 256 currently. Now obviously we can edit it in the same way, you can change the price uh, per amount. So uh, let's say 50 and how many are you going to get for 50 pounds? Well you will get maybe 128, that's a bit lenient. Let's go with just 64 a normal stack and uh, yeah. So uh, let's go back and check that it worked, yes. So for 50 pounds you can buy 64 and there's quite a large amount of stock there. And if we right click selling, um, we can add uh, wood here. So this works in a similar way that um, you can obviously change 
how much people can sell wood to, uh, oak wood to you. Um, so if you wanted this item, people could sell it here and uh, give it to you. But obviously there's zero stock because no one sold it to me yet. Um, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, we can change the description again. So wood, wood, and more wood like that. And um, obviously we can change the color scheme. So sort of a brown color for wood. Yeah, that's good. Uh, left click it to open it. And we can go on to the next page. Um, depending on how much you're selling but you might have multiple shops so you might not need the next page shop history well nobody's bought anything so there's nothing in there at the moment and yeah that is um, that is mostly everything in the plugin so uh, it's really amazing that it's free which is great I know um, some people are hesitant to buy plugins but uh, this one's free works really well there's no errors um, so I definitely recommend it so uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, you can edit this as much as you want and you can just mess around with the shop until it's looking good. So subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.